Hey, hey, everybody, how are you? It's been an amazing month of March so hey, far. Hey, Okay, we have an echo. Sorry about that. But I'm so glad you're here. Um, those of you that are calling in, just let us know where you're calling from. Let us know what's going on in your world today. Um, I, have, I have no idea. We did a test maybe an hour ago, and the comment section was working great that I could see it, but I can't see it. So I do want everybody else to know who's on, where you're calling from, and I'll get to look at it later. But um, super pumped to be with you today. Um, trying something new. I just thought I'd share something with you guys. Do any of you all like, um, anybody got a stand-up desk? If you got a stand-up desk and you love it, just uh, put that in the chat. I get, I know my back does not like sitting all the time. When I'm out doing things, my back never hurts. When I sit in my chair all day and whether it's reading on the computer, doing Zooms, my back hurts. It's the craziest thing. Or you sit in a car for a long trip. So my trainer's working, working me out and he said, we were going to work on balance. So we're working on balance. And I may like wiggle around more today than normal. I'm actually standing on a balance ball at my stand-up desk trying to work on like core stuff while I'm working. So thought I'd try that. And maybe you guys want to try that. How many of you have like ever like tried to do something funky from your stand-up desk? Like I know there are treadmills people make to go under stand-up desks where you can walk or run while you're working. Uh, there are balance balls. There's all kind of things. But um I'm, I'm on one day. You can see me. I can, I can easily wobble around if you want me to, but I'm trying to hold steady. But um, it's going to be a great call today. Um, we are, I know what I'd lo really like to know is how many of you are joining us? This is the first time you've joined us for one of our Start Well, Finish Strong calls. That's the rhythm we're trying to build. Just so glad you're here for the first time. Go back and um, watch some of the other videos if you want to see how we're building a rhythm into our business. And uh, just to quickly catch you up if you're on for the first time, um, I'm doing this because it's one of the skills that I learned very early in our business and that I learned that as I wanted to grow our business, Lori and I wanted to build a bigger business, we wanted to grow our paycheck, we had to learn how to manage the month. Never done anything like that before in my life. I'd always, you know, for, I'd only been out of school six months. So the six months I was out of school before I did this, um, I had to show up at work. I had to wear a certain kind of clothes. I had to get in traffic and I had a cubicle and I went to the office and I was in the real estate, commercial real estate space, um, really wanting to be an apprentice and learn from a guy who had made 60 or $70 million the year before. And I wanted him to teach me how to do what he did. The tax laws changed. And we were in an economic crisis just like we're in right now. And, um, but that's, that's the closest I was to understanding how to do this business was getting dressed with the right wardrobe, getting in the car, going to an office with a computer and a cubicle and coming home and winding, winding it up and doing it again the next day. I had no idea how to do a business like this. So we learned how to manage the month. And really, you could call these coaching calls that I'm doing the beginning and end of each month, the bigger picture would be managing your month, learning how to manage your month. And the second thing would be, um, as I get asked, why do some people succeed and other people don't? It's really time management or priority management. Um, that's the managing of the month part. But the second part of that is most people have never had to manage their self. And that's why when we created this little growth plan, or some of you are using this, some of you aren't, it doesn't matter, uh, makealife.com slash grow, and you can, um, you can grab one of those, you can download it for free, um, but we're using those because it's, it's teaching all these principles, teaching those rhythms, teaching you to get up every day, to manage yourself, to get up and have that quiet start in the morning, so important. I mean, it really, even no matter what your faith background is, I mean, I believe in Jesus, and, and I believe that um, just sinking and connecting with God every morning is so important, but no matter what your faith is, if you don't get up and put the good stuff in, you know what? The world's going to fill it with crap. There's no doubt. So Hope can stick that link in the uh, comments while we're talking right now. Hope's there. If y'all need to ask a question while we're talking, my daughter Hope is um, monitoring the comments. And she can tell you where to get those growth journals if you want one, where you can download them for free or where you can get one and put it on your iPad and have a digital version. But it's all about the month, 
the week, the day, and planting seeds, nurturing those seeds, and then creating a harvest. That's what that journal is all about. And we start fresh each month. Okay? So what we're here today for is to talk about managing your month. And we are in the second cycle of that managing your month. We teach and implement what Lori and I, what Lori and I learned in the beginning is you've got to start your month off with a plan. So if you should go back and listen to the previous call if you want to understand a little more about the month, the week, and the day. I spent a good bit of time on that on the call on March 1st. Uh, and it's in, all the previous calls are in the Facebook video repertoire. But um, we talk about big rocks and making sure those get scheduled first. We talk about starting your day, planning your week. And then you, you know your task list or your to-do list, that's your DMO, what you do on a daily basis. So all that's in there. But what we did was it's different is you get a new planner every month. They're inexpensive. And we want you to seize the month, start it, finish it, and then start a new one. And when you stack good months on top of good months, all of a sudden you're going to have your best year ever. Okay? And that's what we're all about. So here we are, March 22nd. It's kind of cool that because February had exactly 28 days this year, it wasn't leap year, um, the days of the month are the exact same in March because 28 divides into 7. So it's exactly four weeks in February. So we had our finishing the month call on February the 22nd. But you all have a big advantage this month because when we had our finished strong call in February, you only had six days left because how short the month was. Here it is the 22nd of March. If you count today, you got 10 days left, and then we've got Qualifiers Day. So you have got a lot of time to use urgency to destroy procrastination. We've been talking about that. So I want you to, if you haven't done it yet, we got plenty of time. I want you to take some notes today. Um, how many of you have a call already planned with your upline mentor, whoever your support team, your leader is that's working with you, mentoring you, bring in that seniority and experience in the, to, to the table. How many of you have already scheduled that call here at the end of the month so that you can take your downline and growth report, sometimes we call them PVC reports, you get them from the company or you can go pull one down from your My Juice Plus virtual office whenever you want to, but it's a snapshot of where you are in this moment. Because what we have to do is, you started the month, hopefully, and if this is your first call, great. Maybe you didn't start the month with a plan, but we're going to next month, and we'll talk about that before we get off. You started the month with a plan. You set goals. You talked to, one of the things we talked about, you talked to seven to ten people on your team. If you're brand new, you didn't have those people yet. But if, you have, if you've been in the business, you've got seven to ten people on your team, and you found out what their goals are. We call those their micro goals, which are a bigger part of your macro goal. And in order for you to achieve your big goal for the month, it wasn't just what you did alone. It was what you and your team did. So hopefully you have those 7 to 10 goals that you know about with those people, that you've embraced those goals with them, and you are ready to help them here at the end of the month. So you're going to have your call with your mentor, and you need to cut, touch base with each of those 7 to 10 people again, because here's the plan, okay? Human nature, this is pre-COVID, human nature procrastinates. That's just what we do. College students wait till the night before and drink coffee all night and cram for an exam. We all procrastinate. We put off, you know, if there's a task in the yard you don't want to do. You, you, can have, you can come up with an excuse every day. Too much pollen, it's too windy, the ground's too hard, I need it to rain a little bit so the ground can get softer. Or it's rained too much and the ground's too muddy. We can all come up with excuses for whatever task is in front of us. And put it off. That's what humans do. I mean, I don't know why we do it. I don't know if it was the original sin back in the Garden of Eden. But for some reason, procrastination is our nat natural tendency to go in that direction. How many of you would say um, that you're a procrastinator? It's not, I mean, I mean how, many, how many of you naturally like know that's something you need to work on? Uh, and you need to get better about it because when something comes up that has a little bit of resistance to you, you procrastinate, you put it off. Just say yes or I mean, we're not judging here, guys. We're, we're, we're talking about accountability. I want to hear, I want to know where you are and what you're dealing with. If you're a procrastinator, it's okay. Most of the world is, but if you want to be an amazing leader and build an amazing business, we have to put, we have to overcome that tendency to procrastinate, okay? 
So here we are at the end of the month, and we know that with your goals and with those micro goals of everybody on your team, whether it's their first five customers to get their five one, maybe it's qualifying their business, maybe it's reaching Partner Plus. You know, we've, the company just last month added the sponsor bonus to Partner Plus. We've always been able to get 50 if you did it in 30 days or $100 if you did it in 10 days express track for the person making Partner Plus. They just added last month the sponsor gets the same money, okay? So that's a pretty good deal. You know what that is? That's your call to participating in the reward to make sure that you're holding that person accountable. That at the beginning of the month, they said, hold me accountable, so you're going to keep them from procrastinating. So that's what we're talking about in this last week. We're going to use urgency to destroy procrastination. Let's take that one person. They're trying to make Partner Plus. It's urgent. They may not understand it, but it is urgent. They make it by the end of the month. They do it in their first 10 days, or their reward cuts in half. It's $100 if you do it in 10 days, $50 if you do it in 30. And do you understand the urgency? They need to get promoted by the end of the month because that's how they're going to get paid next month. They need to get to Partner Plus before the end of the month because that affects how they get paid next month. That affects their reward immediately, that $50 or $100, but it also affects how they get paid next month. And if their plan is to finish off and make QSC, which it should be, and you should walk them through that, they're going to get that commission on what they do next month. Otherwise, it's just going to roll up to you. That's not bad for you, but what you're explaining to them is why this is a win thing. Why is it urgent? I just told you the reason. So every situation, getting it done this month, number one, is always going to affect their paycheck. And number two, it's usually going to affect their position and how they're paid next month. It could affect whether they get, depending on what the issue is or the goal is, it could depend on whether they get performance bonus. That's the largest part of your paycheck once you build a team. Something everybody, that's the second most most important step when you're building your Juice Plus business. If those of you that have been listening to the calls, I want to just check your um, memory here. What's the first thing you need to do to make sure that you're not leaving money on the table? We talked about this in the very beginning. What do you need to do? What's the first step you need to take in the Juice Plus compensation plan and make sure that step happens to make sure you're not leaving money on the table for somebody else to earn. It has two letters. It's a title you need to achieve with two letters in the initials. Sales coordinator. You need to get the sales coordinator. If you're not there yet, that needs to be a part of your goal. So anybody on your team or you, if you're not at sales coordinator, you're just throwing money away, leaving it on the table. That's first. The second thing is qualifying your business. Okay, so everybody that you're talking to, it's, there's urgency. If you don't qualify your business, you miss that commission this month. You miss that bonus, that 3% performance bonus. Can you reach out to those people, grab their PVC report, and look, at, look them in the eyes or on Zoom or on the phone and say, I know this seems like you know, it's not important, but let me tell you why it is, and you're not in this battle alone. We're going to finish this. we got 10 days. We're going to finish this. So, and then you got to have your goals. So, you need a plan to make it happen. So, in the beginning of the month, you have created the plan and you put activities in place to make it happen. But really, just let's be honest, you just kind of let the month unfold. What I find is that most people, there are a few go-getters out there that just take that Kairos moment, that opportunity, they seize the day, they seize the moment and they go after it. And we're going to get you there. You, you wake up looking at the relationships and the people to see what you need to do, okay? Now, right now, we've got to figure out how we're going to implement that plan because you just kind of talked about it at the beginning of the month, but this, where we are right now, this is urgency. There's a plan in place. I have goals. I'm at this point. You, that PVC report is going to give you the snapshot of where you are right now, and we've got to work that plan not with passivity like we did at the beginning. Most of us work the first half of the month, first two-thirds of the month with I'm just being honest. Let's just be honest. Most of us work out of reaction instead of proaction and intention. That's what breeds this um, procrastination mindset that we have. Okay? So we this is the point at which we take our plans and we, if we haven't done it already, we become proactive and intentional together. So 
if I was your upline, I'm sitting there saying, okay, you told me these were the things you wanted to do and we're not finished yet. I'm holding you accountable. Let's finish. Okay. So ask yourself right now, you put it, you put it in the chat. Let's, let's do some accountability virtually right here on social media. You don't have to put, you don't have to like get in detail, but put some things in there that you've yet to finish this month that you, that you are committed to finishing. Is it qualifying your business? Put QB. If you've not yet qualified your business, but you're committed to that by the end of the month, put QB. If you're brand new, hopefully your sponsor has shared with you your first step is Partner Plus. That's 900 points. Um, a couple, you and, you and another customer could be you, your spouse, and your family getting on Juice Plus. Maybe you grabbed a tower garden. Typically, the best way to do it, I think, I think, I think of a customer as a family in our business. So I think a mom, dad, on a trio or a quad, and I think of the children getting it free until they're 26 <clears throat> through our foundation, Healthy Starts for Families. And then I think about grabbing grandmom, grabbing next door neighbor, grabbing sister, aunt, uncle, or add a tower garden to your house to save a ton of money on groceries. And there are studies out there, but I mean, with food prices right now, I mean, we saved a ton of money pre-pandemic. You save a ton of money growing your own produce with the tower guard now. I mean, it's outrageous how much money you can save. I wish we could grow eggs on there, but we can't grow eggs. But we grow all kinds of things as long as it's not on a tree or a root in the ground. So I want you to put in the comments right now, I want to know what you have yet to finish. You don't have to put the, te you don't have to put the person on your team's name, but you could say teammates 5-1 or teammates qualifying their business. Or maybe you need to qualify for promote out bonus. Maybe you're trying to get that fifth sales coordinator leg to qualify for your first month for national marketing director. I don't know. Put in the comments, what, what, what are you not yet finished this month that you're committed in the next 10 days to finish? Because urgency destroys procrastination for you, for your big goals, and for the micro goals of your team members. So let's write those down. But I want you to have that coaching call with your upline to make sure y'all are in sync because... <clears throat> How many employees do you have at a minimum that are paid to help you build your business? We talked about this before. Juice Plus and our compensation plan pays at least five people in your upline a performance bonus to help you. They work for you. You don't work for them. You need to make sure you know who those five people are. You need their phone numbers, their emails, and you need to be in a Voxer chat with those five people so that whatever you challenges you have, let's say you're trying to get someone to finish Partner Plus and they just need that extra punch, that extra energy, and they need a three-way phone call from someone who's experienced and understands the importance of getting it done by the end of the month. Which of your five upline are you going to call on to do that three-way phone call? It's got to happen soon because y'all, you got 10 days, right? So let's make sure you know who your five employees are or the five people that work for you, they're not really employees. They're not on salary or payroll and you're not their boss, but they're paid to help you. They're in, they, have, they, they want to help you because they're paid to help you. It's the beauty of our compensation plan. It really is. It's awesome. Um, so you know, know who they are, phone numbers, emails, Voxer chat, and now is the time to have that call with your mentor, that with the one that's your leader, that's like helping you, holding you accountable. And you're going to get that PVC report. Y'all are going to share it, look at it together, whether you're on Zoom sharing it, whether you email them a copy, however you want to do it. And if you don't know how to get that copy, if you're new, make sure your upline has that data for you. Let's we want, we want to see where you are, like in this month, and how much we got left to finish, okay? I want thumbs up if everybody's tracking with me. I know there's some shy people in the group that maybe, ah, I got too many things that I haven't finished yet. I don't want to put them all in here. It's okay. Put them all in there. Or put maybe you've got maybe you're trying to do three things this month. Maybe you're trying to qualify your business, make sales coordinator, and make sure you get five customers. I'm just I'm just pulling that out as some goals you might have had. Remember, we set a good universal goal. If you didn't know how to set goals or didn't know what your goals should be, you got to make sales coordinator. You need to qualify your business, and then as a rhythm, if you want to know what you can do on a month in month out basis. Do a 5-1, and if you do that consistently, you'll make National Marketing Director. It's just a matter of how long it takes. Because Remember, we talked about that, that if you do a 5-1, that's five new customers a month. You're in control of that. 
It's one new person that you recruit that makes Partner Plus, and we talk, we've we talked a lot. That's just a family on Juice Plus, buying it at the best price possible. Get a, fam a new family on Juice Plus, help them get to Partner Plus, and you're going to help one person that was already on your team go from Partner Plus and finish out making QSC. Okay, if you do those things consistently, you're going to make National Marketing Director. Some but faster than others. I think there's a rule of three that works in our business. Usually every three customers I get, one of them gets excited and wants to join us in the business because they know other people that want they want to benefit from this product. For every three people you get in the business, I think one of them moves up to Partner Plus, gets those bonuses, and moves forward. For every Partner Plus, you're going to get, you know, every Partner Plus, three every three Partner Pluses, you're going to get a new QSC. Every, every, new, every three QSCs, you're going to get a new sales coordinator. That's just an average, okay? So you need five sales coordinator lines. So you may have to reach out to and, and create 15 QSCs to get five of them to turn into sales coordinators, okay? So that's, I mean, if you work the 511, if those numbers are true and they're really close, that's not a promise. That's what I've seen statistically. That'd be about 15 months and you could be a national marketing director if you consistently did that every month. No guarantees because in our business, we, we, deal, we deal with humans and one human can perform at a much higher level than another human. We know that's to be true. But on the average, you're going to find one high performer for every three. Like, that's pretty true if you stick with them and work the plan. Okay, so let's work that plan and let's make sure all that happens between now and the end of the month. Okay, let's talk about a few things that I, I wanted to do one thing a little bit different with you guys and I wanted to bring up some current events in case maybe how many of you just like do not like email I won't use the word hate but just despise email as much as I do you get anybody like think email like may have come from down under or from that hot place um I won't say the bad words but I like texting because I can respond I love um I love using Voxer and some and some tools that work well. I love boards, but um, I miss some emails. I mean, I get I get hundreds. I mean, literally hundreds a day. Actually, my assistant helps me just clear the clutter because I get so many emails. I mean, it's probably three to four hundred emails I get a day. It's it's, it's, it's absolutely nuts. Um, so you might miss some emails. Okay, maybe you don't feel as informed as you do. So I, I want to make take a moment while we're here together and let's just look at a few things that we need to make sure we're focused in on right now. Here it is, the end of the month, and we are, what's today, the 22nd. We're, we're almost exactly a month, because March has 31 days. We're almost exactly a month from us being together, if you're coming, to Juice Plus Live in Phoenix. It's going to be amazing. I mean, literally, I can't wait. I mean, the Juice Plus Lives do a few things. They cast vision for you as a business that you understand the the size and capacity of the business you could build. It could be financially just freeing for your family for multiple generations. We've got four families, four generations in our family on Juice Plus and have had three making full-time income, three generations from the business. So, I mean, I know it happens, but it wouldn't have happened if we hadn't been to conference, a Juice Plus Live, to see the vision, to see the leadership with this company, in the home office and in the field, to see the science and the medical research behind our product, to see tower gardens in action, but also to build relationships and community with, I think, some of the greatest people on earth. I think that's that's one of the reasons we joined because we saw the quality of the people. So if you're not already registered for Phoenix, please come. Um, I've always done this with anybody on our team. I'm not, I'm not globally offering this on Facebook, but anybody that, that we've recruited, we've said, if you'll come to Phoenix or come to Juice Plus Live, if when you get home, if it wasn't worth going, we'll refund all your expenses, travel, conference registration. I've never had anybody take me up on it. But um, if you've got somebody that you really want to be a part of your team, we've taken many people out there that weren't in the business yet to go see the big picture. So Phoenix is coming up. There's a Juice Plus Live app, or you can go to juiceplusliveapp.com uh, on your computer and register for Phoenix. I can't wait to see all of you there. Hopefully you'll be there. And um, I've got some special things we're going to do in April. I'm going to show you in just a minute. So that's one thing I want to bring to your attention. Another thing I want to bring to your attention is if you're coming, 
we used to call it a prayer breakfast, but for over 30 years, tw twice a year, we used to do Juice Plus Lives three times a year. We've done a worship gathering for two to 3,000 people where we bring an inspirational speaker in and have amazing music and worship together. And that is on Friday morning. There are a few seats left. If you'd like to come and reserve a seat, you can text that number to get details or you can um, go to makealife.com and look at events and you can get registered for that worship event if you'd like to join us there. A couple more things and I'm going to talk to you about uh, April 2. This is new, but I want you to get this on your calendar, okay? Level Up is something we did uh, in January. We It's a hybrid event where we use one of the state-of-the-art studios in Las Vegas where we had a live audience of three to 400, I think is the number. It sells out. But then that live audit, that that stage is like sixty thousand dollars a day or some crazy number to use this technology. It broadcasts all over the world, has simultaneous language translations, has private Zoom rooms, public Zoom rooms. But just there's more de more information coming. Just put August twelfth on your calendar. You can put both of them if you want to. We're going to have one of these in between every conference, so we'll have our fall and spring Juice Plus Live. And then we'll have a level up event that you can do from your own community locally. You can do it by yourself or we're, we're really big on gatherings, getting your team together, sharing meals together, sharing snacks together and you know, watching it on a big screen. August 12th is the next one and the one after that is January 20th. So put those dates on your calendar. I'd love, how many of you in the, in, that are watching today actually watched the level up event in January? It was awesome if you um, got to see it. Um, ask your upline, ask one, a national marketing director above you to tell you a little bit about it if you want more details. But that's a great thing to um, think about attending and get it on your calendar. If you plan, if you get stuff on your calendar, you don't schedule stuff and, and block it out, okay? We're talking about managing your month, but we also manage our year big event to big event. There are four of them. Juice Plus Live, Level Up, Juice Plus Live, Level Up. So all those are there, okay? And then if you're in the Southeast, there are, this uh, went on, the tickets to this boot camp went on sale this week, like yesterday. No, I'm sorry, Monday. Yesterday was Tuesday. On Monday. And um, you can text that number to get details about that, the Blue Ridge Boot Camp. You can go to blueridgebootcamp.com right now to register. I think there are about 50 seats left. It's in July. It's in the North Georgia mountains. How many of you have been before? Thumbs up if you've been before. Um, and uh, just tell people how much fun it was. I mean, we'll have amazing speakers. We're going to have a, a flyer with all the speakers on it coming out soon. I mean, unbelievable speakers. But Saturday night in this valley in the Blue Ridge Mountains, right between two mountains, there's a valley with a pavilion. We rent that out, bring in a band or a DJ, depending on the year, which one we do. And it's a boots, barbecue, and blue jeans. Cowboy hats. There's a, about an hour before dinner. It's called the Sunset Pavilion. We have a cash bar, music's playing, and it's like one of the most picturesque sunset mountain pictures for you, your team. I mean, people take spend an hour taking pictures. Come take a picture with me. I want to get a picture with you. We eat amazing food, and then we dance the night away. It's so much fun. Um, and there's 50 seats left. That we have, we have about 300 coming, and we have 50 seats left. Um, that thing sells out fast. So um, probably by Monday it'll be sold out. So if you want to go come grab a ticket, okay? And then there's one more thing I think I want to share with you. Um, yes. So this is what the Facebook page, people have asked, like, how do you find these events? If you go to uh, the Kurt Beavers Make a Life Facebook page, obviously you know where it is because you're there right now. Click that events tab. You can see all of the upcoming events. But we also, um, where is it? Hang on, so I'm trying to find it exactly. Oh, here it is. So we've created a calendar. We, we put in place some new technology. So you can just subscribe to this calendar, like literally click on it. And um, it will add it to your Google calendar, your Apple calendar. It'll put the events on your calendar that, and you're subscribing to it. So you won't have to keep coming back and adding the next event. When we add more events in our coaching schedule, it'll just automatically add those to your calendar. So you'll have them, you'll get alerts and reminders. And Hope, why don't you put that um, URL right there, the makealife.com slash coaching calendar. You can just put that in the comment section so they can just click on it if they want to get added to that calendar. It will help you. I, I need reminders and things like that. 
Okay. Here, here's what I'm really excited about, though, is next month we're going to focus on relational capital. We talked about the next quarter. We're going to keep, I mean, the rhythm is important, okay? And I want you all to crush March, and that's where we started. But n next month we're going to focus on not just how and what and the process, but we're going to add. So we, I think you've got, you're, you're beginning to get the rhythm so a thumbs up if I can add one more important detail or layer to our rhythms. Are y'all good with that? I want to add one thing next month because I think you're getting it. And that is I want to bring in the relational capital piece. I'm a firm believer that we're supposed to be stewards over what God gives us. Our finances, you know, we're supposed to save, pay our taxes, and we're supposed to give those are to those that are less, less fortunate than we are, tithe to your ministry organizations. So we, we know we need to manage our money well. And most of us have tried calendar apps. Maybe you're using our growth planner in addition to your phone calendar. We don't want that growth planner to replace your master calendar. We want you to go digital if, if you haven't and use that master that growth planner for your monthly intensity. But most of us have tried apps, paper, post-it notes. We've tried everything we can to find that 25th hour in a day. So we're in pursuit of managing our time well, whether we're doing it or not. But the other thing that we don't think about that's probably the most important asset that you own that you need to be a steward over in this business is your relational capital. You've got your financial capital, you've got your time capital that's available to you, and then you've got your relational capital. Most of you have never been taught how to wisely invest that relational capital. You want to grow and expand that relational capital. That's why your memory jogger and we have one in the growth planner. We want you to do a new one every month or at least update the one you have every month because you meet new people. Life happens. People tell you, no, they're not interested. You got to take them off your list. So um, people join you. They become customers. And all of a sudden, they're not prospects. They're customers that you want to join you as partners and you want to educate them. So um, that memory jogger is dynamic. So your relational capital grows and your memory jogger expands. So we, we're going to teach you about that. But we want to teach you how to invest your relational capital. One of the things I love to do is when someone joins me in this business, I want them to trust me enough to kind of, this is, I made this up, to become their people investment advisor. I want to help them invest the people, the relationships in their life so that big things happen. You know, why did God bring this person into your life? Well, when big things happen, and things that you couldn't do alone are possible because of that new relationship and new connection, okay? So we're going to focus on that for the next three months. We're going to add that layer to our start well, finish strong rhythm. We're going to keep that going. Major accountability to keep that rhythm going. But just like Jim Collins, the author of the book, Good to Great, you know what he said? People ask him in his book, one of the things he was answering was a question he was asking, and that is, why do some companies settle on just being good and other companies go to great? And he used the analogy of the school bus. And the school bus is a great analogy because guess who's coming to conference? John Gordon, author of one of my most favorite books, The Energy Bus. So awesome. I mean, you ought to buy that book, download that book, and read that before conference. Blow your mind away. It's a great book. And you're going to become the chief energy officer of your own business. It's awesome. But anyway, so Jim Collins says it's not about having the best bus, having the best bus driver with the fanciest wheels and the best paint job, you better worry about who's on the bus first, or it doesn't matter how pretty the bus is or how well you can drive it. Driving an empty bus does you no good. And that's, it. that's so true in our business. And it starts with you making a decision to assess and take an account of your relational capital. That's your memory jogger. We're going to talk about that. Actually, you'll see on that calendar when you subscribe to it, on April the 11th, I'm going to give you a bonus thing next month. We're going to do a one hour, 45 minutes to an hour in the evening <coughs> so you can get uh, people that are at work in the daytime. We're going to give you uh, a special training on how to create your memory jogger, how to maintain it and grow it, and how to plug your five employees, your five upline that are paid to help you, how to connect them with that memory jogger too so each and every one of you knows what the next step is for every person on that list. We're going to do that on April the 11th. If you click on that link to subscribe to that calendar, you'll get the link to that um, April 11th memory jogger training. Okay, so it's going to be awesome. One more thing here. 
we're going to do next month, and there's more details to come, so I, don't, I can't give you any more details right this minute, but I'm calling it one-to-one. -one. Some of you are wanting, and justifiably so, I've been doing this for 35-plus years, and I have an experience and a journey to share. So one of the things that helped me in the beginning was I got in, I, when I had, we had a little office in Atlanta, a boardroom, a little meeting room, and I, if I had someone interested in the business, I could bring them, we could grab dinner, grab lunch, whatever time of day it was, I could bring them to sit in a boardroom where there was a whiteboard and there was a Bob Burdick or a Bob Middleton or a Ralph Oates or somebody that was already so successful in the business that they got up there and they explained how our business worked. My guests knew I was excited and I was committed, but I couldn't explain it as well as they could. Well, I'm going to do this once a month for this next quarter, and we'll, we'll expand it if we have to, but I, I, the plan is to make it pretty exclusive. I'm going to call them one-to-ones, and I am going to be available on Zoom for you, and I'm going to take about 20 minutes, and I'm going to get out my whiteboard, and I'm going to explain our business from start to finish and show somebody why it's the right product for the right company at the right time to help you recruit these people that you've got interested. But here's the deal. It's going to, on the April 5th Start Well call, I'll send, give you the link and all the details, but it's the first 25 people to sign up. I wanted a manageable group, and you have to bring a guest. You can't. We, it's not for partners to come and hear hear about the business all over again. It's for you to bring a guest. So on the April the 5th, there'll be a link where you can sign up with your name, email, your guest name and email, and they will get a private invitation to join us at that event. And um, once we hit 25, which is 50 total, you plus your prospects, once we hit 25, it'll be sold out. And we'll do it again, but I want to make it exclusive. Remember, what is, what, what is urgency? The urgency destroys procrastination. How many of you will find a really good prospect that you're talking to about this business and be ready on April 5th to sign them up to join me for about 30 minutes and let me sit down and take my 35 years and share with them why Juice Plus is the right thing right now. And I believe it is more than I ever have and I'll tell you why as we wrap up this call. This will be my fifth economic cycle of a downturn, the recession that we're in that's about to get worse. It'll be my fifth in 35 years that I've experienced with this company. The first one happened right when we got started. It was a depressed time. Housing market was in a mess. Rostenkowski, I think was his name, was a congressman who had just signed legislation that took away every tax advantage of investing in real estate overnight. I mean, it was, it was a cataclysmic event that devalued retirement funds, people's houses, commercial office buildings. It was a mess. There was a plethora of white-collar, sharp people that it got laid off because their companies were no longer as profitable as they were under the old regime, old econo economic issues with tax laws and stuff. And there were people that were awesome that we could recruit and bring into this business. They were six-figure income earners that, that didn't want to depend on corporate America or the government's ability just to change something just like that and affect their family and their future. So we built a huge wave of our leadership that still exists today. Then you move forward into Y2K and that next economic cycle. A whole new generation of leaders in Juice Plus came out of the back end of that recession because people were looking for ways to make more money and take control of their future. It happened again in 2009, 2010, somewhere in that area when we were busting about 15 years ago. You can look at a huge group of national marketing directors, presidential marketing directors, that started this business when that recession hit and they needed to do something different. They needed to make more money. There was a hunger in them to better themselves and take control of their family's financial future. Guess what? It's about to happen again. Right now, there's an average, I read an article, about 175,000 jobs being, people being laid off every month this year so far. And um, I mean, huge companies. I mean, and even in our family, we've got people that work for Amazon, and they're in the th in the throes of you know layoffs and stuff. It never happens. I mean, I think Amazon laid and Walmart were laying off people right before Christmas. I mean, that's when their biggest time of the year. Well, the pandemic messed the world up, guys, and 
there's fluff in all these numbers that are being reported about employment and stuff. I mean, some of these jobs that they're talking about were created, those were just people going back to work that were laid off and lost their jobs during COVID or they were working from home and they couldn't work. But now the impact of that is hitting and we're fixing to have, about to have, in the South we say fixing, we're about to have one of the greatest recruiting opportunities to build the next generation of leaders in our company we've ever had. Those names need to be on a memory jogger because they're part of your relational capital. We need to talk about that and we need to make that happen. So how many of you are right now going to let urgency, those 25 spots, going to let urgency keep you from procrastinating and between now and April 5th when you can sign up, you're going to find a person, the number one person you want to join you in the business next month. You're going to hook them up, sign them up on April the 5th, and they can be one of those 25 people to join me with a white pad on Zoom on April the 13th. That's when that event will take place, okay? I think we, we've gone for a long time this morning. I'm sorry I went so long. Lots of good stuff to share. Don't let March end and you can, I, I don't want you to say the first week of April, I procrastinated again. I didn't finish what I started. Don't do that. What was it we said a couple months ago? Don't let the fact that the company gives you grace. We have an amazing company. And they do have restarts. Yes, you can restart. You don't get the bonuses you get in the beginning, but you can restart. They'll let you start over. But remember, we use the example about Paul in Scripture. Paul said, grace is so amazing, that free gift that God gave us because Jesus died on the cross. The grace is amazing, but it was not a right or permission to keep sinning just because I had grace to take care of my sin. Let me tell you something. If you want to succeed in this business, the ability to restart and say, it's okay, I've only got 10 days left, I'll just do it next month. That's a bad attitude. Finish what you started, buckle up, get the five people that are willing to help you, do this coaching call, reach down to those five that have the micro goals that you're working with, and let's, let's don't restart. Let's don't procrastinate. Decide that March 2023 is when you're going to take urgency as your weapon and you're going to destroy procrastination. And then next month in April, April the 5th is our call to start the month off. It's what the dates fell where we're just going to stick with Wednesdays, even though that's a little later in the month than I like to start. We're going to April the 5th, start well call. I'd love for you guys to have your coaching call and have all that out of the way before April 5th, if you could, next month. Because you really need to do those coaching calls to kick the month off the first three days. Um, so let's do it. Let's make it amazing. April, May, and June are going to be awesome. Hopefully you'll come to Phoenix. I can't wait to see some of you I haven't met face-to-face. And my legs are tired. This balance ball works, but it does make your core and your legs really tired. You ought to try it. It's got to be good for you. Okay? Thanks for joining today. And um, we will see you on April the 5th, if not before. Memory Jogger training on April the 11th. Click on that link that Hope put in there. Hope, put that link in there one more time. Subscribe to that calendar, and you'll have the list of all the events. Okay? Be blessed. See ya.